Hey, for today's project, let's go ahead and make a table. It's going to be a knockdown version for a painting contractor. The legs are going to look like paintbrushes. So this should be a fun little project. I'll show you the beginning and end of the uh, design, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so right now I am attempting to assemble this. I scaled the drawing down to fit on the laser. Basically, I had quarter inch wood and I just scaled it down so the slots fit in here. I'm just mocking this up, making sure everything fits nice and tight. There's no design flaws. Here's just a little gusset that's gonna hold everything together on the top for the spacing. And then I'll attach the lid here. Yeah, so the top works, so we have a good design. We'll go ahead and cut it out. I have a close up here. Here's the router. I took off the dust shoes that way you guys can see what's going on here at the money end typically I, I have a vacuum system that sucks up all this dust but I think it's a good shot so you guys kind of see what's going on and plus I like this one and right there you can see these little dog bones that's where everything fits in nice and tight you see it coming up right here those little guys right there so the mating piece can fit in actually flat right there. my buddy. My daughter calls him Boofy. So he hangs on the CNC machine. That's my helper. You'll notice my computer's getting hammered with all this dust. I do have something on the keyboard that minimizes the dust getting into the keyboard part because my machine will just take off for no reason because all this sawdust is in there and it thinks the button's pushed out. So here I'm using a multi-tool. This cuts out all the tabs that holds it in. Very useful. So here we go, ludicrous speed. So now you can see the dust shoe, it's on there right now. That controls a lot of my dust. I think I have this sped up, I believe 1500 times. Here I'm just rounding over the corners, the edging, what I can. So it's nice and smooth. And you, you, what you see here is pre-finished plywood. This is nine ply Baltic birch plywood. It's uh, three quarter inch and it's pre-finished. The reason why I did it pre-finished is one, I'm lazy. And two, um, on the top when you see that part, what I do is I engrave the top and then I um, apply some acrylic or latex paint in this case get that done so anyways I'm just cruising along these are the feet they're shaped as a paintbrush the painting company wanted something unique so I designed the feet to be a paintbrush look I had an original design but it was too funky for them so I made it kind of scaled down for them so here I'm rounding the edges what I can you want to be careful you don't want to do your slots So right now here I'm actually engraving the top of the machine, the table. I'm just measuring the thickness. I'm think I, I think I'm about 20 thousandths or 30 thousandths deep. And this is going to be later filled with that paint that I was talking about. That's why I wanted a pre-finish. That way I could just wipe it on and then wipe it off or apply it and then wipe it off. Now I'm cutting the outside perimeter. I was worried that you see me measuring a lot because I thought this plywood was 48 inches and I forgot when you pay higher dollar stuff. This was, I think this sheet was 110 bucks. Um, they give you an extra half inch in the width because they know you probably need that 48 inches. So I was sweating and then I realized, ah, crap. 
there's no reason for me to get so close to the front right about here, but I did. But on the edges, it's pretty close. So you can see how close I was. I like these shots. And now I'm just rounding over the back side, the underside of that tabletop. So now I'm setting up the top, or the base. You can see the base assembled, and I'm just making sure everything's centered. It's kind of critical with the table. And I'm utilizing some tape just to lay out where my legs are. And really, I only needed to do two sides, but I did four, because I like wasting time. Okay, so now I'm attaching the the mating part. So this kind of holds everything together, lines it up. I'm using screws for this purpose. And then I'll take off the top and then I'll finish screwing it down. I'm pre-drilling, countersinking, and then putting in these uh, fasteners. Now I'm carefully laying on the top, making sure it fit. So here I'm just lifting it up because I'm super strong. Checking out what the design looks like. I'm going to be applying edge banding, but it's going to be more of a, a trim board because uh, octagon piece of glass quarter inch is going to be sitting on top of this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm applying some putty. This is a two-part pot putty. Uh, the white is the hardener, the brown is that, the putty part. You gotta mix it together really good. And then you can see I already have the banding attached. So I got a haul butt here because this stuff dries within like five minutes at the most. Now I'm just using a paintbrush, actually a toothbrush, sorry wife, and she doesn't know it's hers. And uh, just sucking it up because it grooves, it gets kind of fuzzy, so I want to make sure I get those clean before I apply the paint. And here's where I was telling you I was applying the paint. This is just a black latex paint. I'm going to fill in the grooves, and then later on I'm going to wipe it off. Ideally you should have used a paint mask, I should have but I didn't have any and I didn't have time to go to the um, place and get it. So I'm having to do it the hard way. Um, the tricky part is you gotta let it sit in the grooves long enough to dry, but you wanna wipe it off quickly also so it's a delicate balance because if you let it on there too long, it dries on the surface and then it's just, just harder to get off. But that's why that clear coat is nice because you can do it. But here I'm having to do the painful process of wiping up all the um, excess paint but with a clear coat like i said it works good so there it is it's cleaned up i just engraved their logo a piece of glass will be sitting on this like i said and um, now i'm just rounding over the corners here and after this done you can see the cross members on the bottom but after this is done, I just deliver it to the client, threw a little bit of clear on there, and we'll call this project done. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.